I have been searching for a video idea to upload for like an hour, and then I thought about, you know what, let me play TDX for a little bit, try to see. I can't think of anything. And, you know, I just spent the last, like, few minutes thinking about why TDX feels so dry. And we're going to explain this in an oil rig and this uh, match, if I can get into the one. I mean, we can just start right now, though. Basically, TDX feels dry because of how the recent updates have been. I mean, it's not really a lack of updates. Games can go months without updates and still be fun, right? I mean, I get I'm level 152. I get I play this game a lot. But... Uh, yeah, that, okay, there is going to be bias just because of that, like, I have played this game a lot, but I'm also basing this off of how the recent updates have been. Like, okay, just put this into perspective, the last updates have had, there's oil big, the last updates have had, like, these towers, golden mine layer, ghost, commander, um, slammer, medic, towers like these. You see what all these towers have in common? They all have... Really micro heavy abilities like the golden mine there if you want to use it stun efficiently That's really micro heavy the ghost really micro heavy with its abilities commander I mean it's a commander. It's really micro heavy the slammer of course probably one of the most micro heavy towers in the game the medic like everything just has Every new tower that's added just has to have an ability that adds so much complicated micro to the game and it just feels so not fun having to do it over and over, especially during Endless when all your warships die and you still want to use your abilities and replace towers and the micro key is backspace for some reason. Like, I don't, I don't get why they did that. I mean, I get, I guess, like, make the game harder. Selling and replacing can't be fast, but, like, did you have to do that, man? Like, what, what was the necessity to, to doing that? You know what I mean? I accidentally upgraded that slammer too much. It's okay. Uh, but basically... The game feels way too micro-heavy right now, is what I'm trying to say, okay? Like, and you know the attack helo they're planning to add, right? They're making that really micro-heavy too. If you saw in John's TDX development stream, he said that, oh, the attack helo, yeah, it's, there's going to be ways to target it. It's going to be pretty fragile, but you can use a flare ability to divert attacks from it. Flare ability. Even more micro, just so much micro and every single thing that needs to be out. I did not deactivate my 50%. This is 50% speed? This is slow, oh my god. Anyways, but you see what I mean? Like, every single tower that gets added, just so much self place, so much micro, so much... It's so annoying. And for the second thing, a lot of the content right now feels really endgame based. Like, they keep adding impossible maps, they keep adding hard extensions to game modes, they keep adding... Like these difficult game modes, and I feel like the last casual thing they've added really was like, I guess you could say Christmas normal mode and Tower Battles normal mode. Ever since the game's released, the casual game modes like, you know, Easy, Intermediate, Elite, Expert, they have stayed the exact same. Like, there's, and there's no additions, there's no casual content. It feels like whenever you play Tower Defense X, you just have to always be trying your hardest. It's in it's an end game like there's end game uh what do you call it? Like content added with towers, with game modes, you just don't get a break and once you do that for so long, it just feels like I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna hop in TDX and just spam abilities for eternity, like there's no casual towers being added to counteract this. There's no casual game modes. It's just micro heavy tower, micro heavy tower, micro heavy tower, micro heavy game mode. Like, uh, microing is really fun. Okay, that's something that makes TDX stand out. But there needs to be a line. Like, tone it down a little. Make it more casual so then it's not just a sweat fest. Because right now, TDX feels really overly competitive. Like, to have the new content constantly being added to this game is, like, t for top players, competitive, and that's not a wrong thing. Like, it's good they're doing that, but I feel like they've overdone it a bit too much. And you can see it even in their current update schedule here, or I'm probably not going to edit this video because I'm lazy, but the their current update schedule, right? Like, I think the next thing is going to be attack kilo, again, micro everything, and then... 
What else are they adding? They're adding like Halloween, Christmas. Maybe those will be somewhat casual updates, but I mean, it just, and then there's PvP. I mean, PvP is a fine addition if you want competitive like that. That's okay. But man, it just feels like every addition to TDX feels so competitive. Like there needs to be a break somewhere. Like just like casual little game mode. I mean, a lot. I feel like some people will say it's boring. Like, oh, this is all you added. It's so easy. Yeah, but can we just, like, relax a little? Like, I don't want to spend, like, 50 attempts trying to do Deserted Island Endless Wave 120 or something. Like, no, I don't want to do something that hard. D do you want to do that for, like, the rest of time? I mean, of course, you don't have to play TDX like that. But that's the kind of content they're adding. It's so just endgame focused. It's just insane man like yes add micro but right now it's a bit too much is what i'm trying to say and also they need to do something about ability keybinds like having to constantly click towers click towers get micro and your your darn cell keybind being backspace why just why did you do that like that's probably like to make microing harder there's so much mic going in this game, and I don't think you need to do that. And also, I think what would be a good idea is if they add ability keybinds, like, to the side of your screen over here. Like, like how TDS does it. Like, they did it good with that. Like, chaining commander is easy now. Chaining all this stuff is easy. That would make TDX genuinely so much more fun. Such easier commander chaining. Maybe EDG chaining could possibly be possible. Maybe it would make slammer micro more possible, but for that you kind of do need to click on your slammers. But I mean, that's fine, because slammer is just a micro heavy tower. But you could also have it for, like, golden mine layer. Like, imagine you have all these golden mine layers at the back, and then you just spam the ability here. You don't have to click on them constantly, no, you just put an auto-clicker here. You're spamming the golden mine layer ability now, and it's not that hard. You just put your auto-clicker on the side here, and boom, ability, 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 using the, you know, what's it called? The, like, arm throw ability. That would just be so fun to watch. And so, so much more fun to play. I, I feel like that's why CDX is just so dry. Like, you add all this competitive stuff, you go for one big achievement, and then after that, there's not really some, like, casual game mode to play like there is expert there is elite there is intermediate there is all that stuff so of course you can calm it down a little whenever you want to but these game modes have been out for almost a year like we've been playing these game modes for a year straight no not really much changes like this i feel like we just need some more casual content more casual towers added more casual game modes added of course you could save that for next year. You could keep on going with your competitive path for now with like PvP, Halloween, Christmas, the attack helo, all these other towers. But I feel like Tower Defense X, if you want to continue with this game, make it feel less dry because every single comment I've gotten on my recent TDX videos, it's like TDX is so dry, TDX is so dry, TDX is so dry. I get it from my channel members, I get it from everyone I talk to, like everyone is just saying TDX is so dry right now. And I don't want to admit that, because, I mean, really, like, I feel like I play this game too much. Like, I'm level 152, I feel like I should, at this point, be tired of the game. But, if they keep making updates like this, then I'm gonna have to agree with what the people are saying. So, if you got anything out of this video, just know, I feel like TDX has become a bit too competitive recently with all of the recent towers being released, being heavily micro-reliant, and there not really being any casual maps or game modes added to go along with it either. So, that's my variant. Uh, I'm probably not editing it at all, and I'm probably not finishing this on this game because that sounds so boring. I just wanted background footage to thing. So, I uh, don't think I have anything else to really add on to that. Tower Defense X. In 2025, you don't have to do it the whole time. That'll get boring. Just make a good mix of casual and competitive gameplay. Because right now, Tower Defense X just feels way too 
competitive way too sweaty i just don't like that how it is right now like yes we want that there we want the potential to be there but i also want to just chill out in this game sometimes like i want to test out towers without fearing i'm gonna die every second so again that's my rant don't really think i have anything else to say peace out guys have a good day